Greetings everyone, welcome to my another YouTube tutorial series on Discord board and today's video we are going to create a voice leaderboard just like we did on our previous video of this series where we create a message leaderboard based on um, user input on their messages and this one we're going to look into people joining the voice channel and the time of amount they spend on a voice channel and once they leave we're going to calculate how much they have spent their time on and based on every user we're going to rank them to the top 10 so you can see a basic demo of that so let's dive into the prerequisites of this project head over to discord.com slash developers slash applications create an app bot application if you don't have one then go to bot sections scroll down and ensure that present intents and server members intents are turned on in order to work on the given um, code that you're going to work and download from my github repository so this link will be down below in the descriptions go to this link Go to the code section. You can clone the repository if you have Git installed on your system. If not, for some reason, then you can go ahead and click on download zip file. Once you have downloaded, extract the files and we will continue from there by opening PyCharm. Once you have finished downloaded and you have copied to your um, chosen file, file locations, then go ahead and open PyCharm, click on open, find your designated folder where you have actually downloaded and extracted your folder from the github so this is the source file so i'm going to select that press ok i'm going to open it so i'm going to wait to pycharm to get ready here you can see my charm pycharm has automatically detected the virtual environment and the requirements.txt file. So all the required packages that I have used throughout this project will be automatically installed. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you in case if you're not using this IDE and if you're using something else, then what should you do in that case? So I'll go ahead and press OK, which will install automatically all the packages for this project. As you can see, it has finished creating the virtual environment automatically itself and it has installed all the required packages. Now in the case of if you don't have the um, IDE and you're using any other stuff, then what you can do, you can go to your terminal. I'll go ahead and open terminal from here or you can open your command prompt or anything. As long as you can um, change your directory to be pointing to discord.py.series.main folder where you actually have your source code file, that should be fine. Um, so you can go ahead and take a look at the readme sections where I have put the installation sections. So if I scroll down, you can see installations and all you have to do is copy this and paste it on your terminal and push enter in that case. Now, if you don't have readme support for your ID or text editor, then you can simply go to the browser section, scroll down to the GitHub um, provided link, and you can see the same thing over here. So you can simply copy, come back and paste it here and paste enter. And that should also install your uh, all the required uh, packages for you. But I do suggest that you create a virtual environment for yourself as well as and install within that virtual environment. It's a good practice. So let's dive into the coding sections of creating the necessary files that we're going to need uh, to move on further. So first thing first, I'm going to open my ENB file where it says Discord post token goes here. So if I quickly go to my Discord, dot com slash developer slash applications and go down to the bot section and you can see there are tokens so i'm just going to simply copy that token come back here and all i'm going to do is remove that and paste my token there once you have done that go ahead and save your files now come to the database sections and we're going to create a new um, file storage facility for our voice um, command so I'm going to go ahead and do the file. 
So it's going to be voice leaderboard dot json. And I'm going to just leave an open parenthesis there and go ahead and hit save. Now you can notice there you're going to have one additional files, but however, this is by the time I upload this, you're more likely to have everything in there ready for you. So including the source code, but if you want somebody that wants to follow along with me, you can, you are more than welcome to do so, but just, just to remind you that you still have to download that template. If you want to use this, um, if you want to follow along this video where I have actually um, used this template across the source code. So let's go ahead and create our first command file. So Python file, and I'm going to call this voice command. Voice leaderboard. Uh, yep, that should do. And let's go ahead and import all the necessary files that we're going to need. Once you have finished importing all of them, let's go ahead and create our class. Which takes command.cog. And we're gonna write our initialize our method. in the bot as the parameter here. Perfect. And do our setup file to add our class to the actual extensions. So setup, which takes bot. And then we're going to say And this goes for the uh, basic um, structure of our code. So let's get started the implementation first. The first implementation is going to be pretty similar to our message leaderboard where we store the data to our JSON files based on some given logic. So we're going to call our own voice state update here and this will take some of the parameter.
and now we're going to open our JSON file and start reading and implement our further logic. Now here what you can do is if you would not like any other bot to be count in or a roles or a member, then you can declare this here. So I'm going to show you a quick example. You can say if member dot ID not equal to and then some ID. So as simple as that or you can say bot and whatever you would like in this case um, um but that depend on depends totally on you how you want to write this so i'm gonna have go ahead and remove because i don't have any restrictions or i don't want to restrict any bot or member to um to be counting for this uh leaderboard so i'll just simply go ahead and open the json file So it's going to be the databases. And then the voice leaderboard. Dot JSON. And I'm going to read the file as file. And let's add it to a new variable, load the JSON object itself, and then we will take the member ID, just like we did before for the message, if you can re recall from the previous video. So now we have gathered our first requirement. Now the first thing we're going to do is update our existing user. And then basically, if this user is new, then we're going to add it. So add new user and it's pretty same as before but it's just that within there some of the stuff will change now because we are not dealing with messages but rather the voice channel itself so first thing first i'm going to say if new user in voice data then go ahead and take the timestamp of the leave time once they leave the voice channel take a snapshot of that time and then take a new time um, of the end the snapshot of their joining time basically so let's do that voice leave time is equal to and I'm going to call the daytime package here. And this will take the time. And I'm going to string format it. So str format. And I'm going to pass in a format of hours, minutes, and seconds. So for that, we're going to do modulus hour colon modulus minute colon and modulus second which is s and that should do it perfect and let's now do the joining time so and we can we're gonna say this data and we're going to assign the new user there
And now um, we're going to calculate the difference between the leave time and the join time. So let's take a new variable called calculate calculate time is equal to I'm going to open in parentheses. So the first thing first we're going to take is date time again. Take time and then dot and we're going to call strip time here. So str strip time and within there we're going to pass in the voice leave time comma and the format so which is basically this just going to quickly copy this that's right and now gonna take away that date time dot time dot strip time again and I'm going to call now the voice um, join time, which will same. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and copy this and paste it there. And that should do this. So I'm going to do what? Push enter here real quick. And right here so it is a little bit down and let's assign this to our voice data i'm going to call this string literals format here calculate time and now I'm going to write this information to the JSON file. So let's say with open and let's go ahead and do this location. So I'm just going to grab the entire location from here. And it's going to be right as update user data and we're going to dump it json.dump and it's going to take the voice data and then update user data and then i'm going to indent it to four line space that should do it so that goes for the updating the existing. Now we're going to add a new user, which is our another edge case that we need to cover. New voice join time. So this is for a brand new user. And then I'm going to say date time object. And then daytime dot now and then dot time and then dot str and I'm gonna pass in this format that should do it and then let's assign this voice data new user is equal to the new user voice data time so basically there you go and now let's write the file with this with open i'm just gonna quickly copy this as 
new user data json don't dump and we're gonna dump the voice data new user data and gonna indent that to four space there you go that should be it for this part just gonna reformat that go ahead and hit save and we can now test this right so we got what we're gonna do we're gonna join a voice channel on our discord and um, see if this stores the time differences if not then we probably have to debug a little bit so let's go ahead and hit run here and our bot should be coming online and we can see the bot is online and we're gonna do test real quick now by joining the push shell over here and give it a some time and now what we're going to do is leave the voice channel yes i'm happy and let's go back to the code itself and let's check out the voice leaderboard and we can see that we have spent it seven seconds into that ch uh, voice channel uh, just now so our logic is perfectly correct and it is exactly doing what is supposed to do so as far as this goes you can see that we have um, opened the files then updated the existing user and then added a new user if that user didn't exist based on the given logic where the calculation takes place now the next bit is to write the command um, where we will um, type in a voice command and this will send our voice leaderboard based on assorting the entire um, uh, the entire files based on the time how much they have spent it and then sort it uh, then actually take only the top 10 of that after the sort so let's go ahead and do that it's pretty uh, same as what we did for our previous tutorial so i'm not going to go ahead and explain too much details if you have followed through then congratulations i hope you have understood so far so let's do that i'm gonna start by writing our commands decorator and then write our async function as usual i'm going to name this command voice and it's going to self take itself and context so cdx i'm going to open the file i'm just going to copy the location again And it's gonna be reading. And let's append this to the variable. In this case, loading the JSON object. And we're gonna take the split this into a keys and the value pair. So if we go here, this is the key and this is the value. And the first will be user IDs. So all the user IDs. I'm gonna turn that into a list. And going to take the voice data variable and say dot keys. And then use uh, time spends so equals two and then the, i'll take a list again and then voice data dot values perfect so we have both 
And now let's create a new array, or in this case, list in Python. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna append off them to the new leaderboard. So just like before, for index, user ID and enumerate. And we're gonna enumerate the user IDs. And let's have a look. Yep. Then I'm gonna append this to our new leaderboard. So dot append. And which will take the user ID itself and the user time spent. And which is going to be index to minus one, just like before. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and sort it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna be sorting the leader board order by user time spend. Right, and let's do the call our new little board and we're gonna do sort and we're gonna say key is equal to lambda functions and we're gonna say items items in items I'm gonna take the first index of that and I'm gonna set the reverse key to true that's perfect that should do it and now we're gonna split them to columns so if I can recall our image again should be opening up soon so just like we did for our image before for the messages we seem going to do we're going to turn them into individual columns and then assign that column to tabulate the package that we're using to create tables and they're going to be standalone table themselves so that they don't collide with each other and they're aligned nicely with with their uh, with the respective to their uh, column itself and it looks nice and tidy so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna say user rank column. Gonna create three of them. So I'm just gonna quickly duplicate them. So the first, second one is going to be name. And the third column is going to be time spent. And now we're going to take the top 10 of them and assign this to each in respect to their each individual array or list in this case. So the first one is going to be user rank. And next one is going to be user name. And next one's going to be user time spent. So let's do the first one. So four. Um, rank index, then rank value in enumerate, and we're gonna call the new leaderboard here, and we're gonna slice it to take the zero from zero object to the ten, so the first ten of them that are present there. And now we're gonna append that to our rank column. So we're gonna have to call user rank column dot append. I'm gonna take the object array object here and say rank index and increment by one because the index starts at one zero per zero position, so it will be incrementing by one now. Perfect. And let's do the name so for 
name index. I'm gonna say name value in enumerate. Again, we're gonna say the new leaderboard. I'm gonna slice that to to ten, and we're gonna say user name dot append. And I'm gonna take the object again, and now we're gonna take the name value in this case. But um, what we're gonna, but if you recall that all our names are currently a unique ID itself, so we need to fetch the username and the tag. So just like we did for our previous video, message data, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna say await self dot bot dot fetch user and I'm gonna call the integer object in this case and name value and the name value is in the zero positions of the key because it's these this is zero this is one so that's it and that should do it and then finally, we're gonna do the user spend. So let's do that user times pen column dot append. And I'm gonna take the object again. And I'm gonna say time um, spend value. But before that, we need to write our for loop, which we didn't write. Apologize for that. For time spend index and then time spent value in enumerate come on and then new leaderboard gotta slice that to up to 10 and there you go let's pull this one in and that should be fine and i'm gonna say time spend value and i'm gonna pass in the first index for that so that's perfectly fine yep that should be fine there is no error and now we're gonna do the table part here so what we're we gonna do we're gonna append column to table Right, that's what we're gonna do. And let's call the first table. So it's gonna be user rank table. User rank table is equal to tabulate T A B U L E, I believe yes tabulate and the first one will take the user rank column itself then the table format which is going to be plain in this case and then comma and then pass the headers and that is going to be the Array object first and within the string and then pass in the hash with the new line spacing and then finally it's gonna set the align to left because I want them nice and tidy there I'm gonna duplicate it two more times because we got name and then we've got time spent Use a time spent table and let's bring them in here. And this one should replace to name. And this one should say uh, just gonna control Z out here. Gonna say time spent. That's right. And gonna push enter here. 
yeah so that should be fine and finally we're going to do the image part so you're going to use the pillow so let's load the image real quick so all our image in an assets folder and that's our voice image template if we can recall yep that should be fine so i'm going to say image template is equal to image and then dot open and then let's do the location now it's gonna be assets and then the name so it'll be voice leaderboard dot PNG I believe that's the format perfect and now um, so we're gonna do the font and then position and then draw and then save files right so font and then position and then the draws and then we're gonna save the file finally not Dave save and then save image perfect let's implement them so font is simply going to be font is equal to image font dot true type and here we're going to pass in the name of the font which is the bold font dot ttf i believe yeah and then size gonna set to be 40 for all of them and um, please make sure to adjust them uh, if you're using your custom um, templates so it same goes for the positions rank text position and uh, we're gonna set that to 30 and then 50 on the y-axis. Just gonna duplicate two more times. Gonna say name here. And gonna say time spent. And let's change the values real quick. So this is going to be 80. And this is going to be 330. Now this is uh, based on my image where I have adjusted the length and the width or in this case x-axis and the y-axis for each of the texts. Now let's go ahead and finally draw them. I'm going to say draw on image is equal to image draw. draw and we're going to draw it on image template itself so now I'm going to call that draw on image dot txt text and I'm going to pass in the position rank text position comma and the rank table itself so use a, a rank table and then the color of the text which is the white and then font is equal to font perfect and let's duplicate it two more times and this is going to be for name and this is going to be for time spent and here we're going to have to place to it user name table and use a uh, time span table perfect and that should be fine draw on image yeah everything should be fine and i'll just finally save this so image template.convert and let's do rgb and dot save we're going to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to call this 
simply voice leader vote dot jpg and elaborate the format again jpeg and that should do it and then finally send this so i'm going to say await ctx dot uh, send and in this case i'm going to call the file is equal to discord dot uh, discord dot file yes it should bring that i'm going to pass in the file right from here so just gonna copy that and paste it and that should do it guys so i'm gonna reformat this and let's hit save real quick so file save all let's stop the port from running i'm gonna save it one more time just in case and hit play and let's test this Uh, before quickly going ahead, I just realized I have voice leaderboard template and I didn't include that. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's template. And now I'm going to stop again. Hit save. And also make sure on the main file you have enabled this. So you will most likely to find this comment out on line 26. If you enable this, then it will send your on command errors to your um, Discord itself, so it'll help you debug your problem even more. So let's go ahead and save all. Hit run. And let's wait for bot to come online. So bot is online. Let's go ahead and do our voice command. And there you go. So this is the voice command, guys. So you can see the position and the name of the user and the time that they spent previously so which was seven seconds where we spend it on during our testings so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, there are more to come and if you liked the content uh, then consider subscribing and stay safe and i'll see you soon